Okay, let's move on to question nine. So question nine is one of those questions where they try to sort of give you a real life scenario, but you're still leveraging your theoretical knowledge, right? So don't panic when you see questions like this. Always say, okay, what theoretical knowledge is it? Is it pointing to and then leverage that? Okay, and I will talk you through that. So it says the Maputo Katembe um, Twin Tower Bridge extends over the Maputo Bay. The diagram shows a representation of a suspension cable above the mean water level. The height h in meters of the suspension cable at a horizontal distance x meters from the base of the left tower can be modeled by the function h equals k x minus a all squared plus b. So you should be thinking to yourself, oh, there's a theory that I need to know. It's a parabola, right? But instead of the y um, uh, variable, we're using h instead. Okay, and this form of the parabola is my turning point form. So then here it says, at the midpoint between the two towers, and we know the midpoint between the two towers is actually just going to be the turning point, the suspension cables are 190 meters above the mean water level. That's our x value. The distance between the towers is 1,450 meters, and the towers are, three, are both 315 meters tall, um, measured from the mean water level. A hygrometer, shown as A in the diagram below, to measure the humidity is placed on the, on the cable at a height of 210 meters above the mean water level. Okay, so basically you have a parabola. They've drawn it for us here. These are its two, um, this is where it sort of starts and ends, right? So here would be your y-intercept, effectively, which we can talk, call our h-intercept because we don't actually use y. Then here is our turning point, right? Here is just a point, right, where the hygrometer is. We don't know what the x value is, but we do know it's 210 meters high, and we know that each of the towers is 315 meters. So then it says, write down the values of a and b. What that means is it's saying, just what are the coordinates of the turning point? Well, we know that the turning point is going to be 190 meters um, above the mean water level, so that's going to be our b value, because that is our y value of our turning point. Our x value of our turning point, which is this a in the squared bracket, is going to be halfway between the two towers because we know that's the definition of a turning point. It's always halfway, right, between, in this case, it'll be our two, our two y-intercepts, if you want to call it like that, because you can also think of this as another y-intercept. So you can say 140 divided by 2 is 725. So now you found that. Now the next question is a little bit trickier because it says, Calculate the horizontal distance of the hygrometer, effectively the x value of the hygrometer, from the left tower, right? So it just wants to know, what are the coordinates over here? We know that it's 210 meters tall, but we don't know how far it is away from that tower, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, this was the formula they gave me. I'm going to sub in what I know about A and B, right? Because remember with these questions, especially in section B, there's that element of where you carry it down. Okay, and there's a scaffolding. So you use your answer in a previous question to help you with the next question. So here I've subbed those in. I know that my A value, I don't know what my X value is there, but I know what my Y value is there. And I'm thinking I should sub it in. The problem is though, is I don't have K yet. So now I have Y, K, and X as unknowns. And so subbing in A over here is not going to help me. I have to solve for K. So is there another um, variable that I can, another point, that I actually know both of its um, coordinates so that I can solve for k. Well, yes, there is. Over here, right, this value over here, its x coordinate is going to be 0, right, and its y coordinate is going to be 315, okay, because effectively this is the y intercept. So I'm going to go sub that in, okay, I'm going to sub that in, and that effectively is my y intercept, or you can call it your h intercept. Right, where it's 0 and 315. How do we know it's 315? Well, it said both of the towers are 315 meters tall, measured from the mean water level. So we do have another coordinate there that it goes into. So let's sub that in. 0, K, 315 minus 725 or squared plus 190. Right, you'll see here that this is going to... Oh, I put this in the wrong way, sorry. This here is my y value, and that is my x value. Be careful there to remember which is your x and which is your y, right? Be very careful there. Then we just go and we solve this. So, 7, uh, sorry, oh, goodness. 
725 all squared is going to give me 525625k, right? Then we bring that over 315 minus 190 gives me 125. Then I'm going to say 125 divided by 525625. 525, 625, and we know that k is going to equal 1 over 4, 2, 0, 5. Okay, so k is quite small, but we don't really mind, right? It's not like we had a preconceived idea of what k should be, but now we have the value of k, so now we can go and solve, right, for the x value of the hypermeter. So we go here, we say, okay, sub in what I just solved for, right? Don't sub in any other point because now we're going to sub in the point and find the x value of a hygrometer. So I'm going to put 210 in here. Then I'm going to put in just this x value that I need to work out. Right, and I'm going to go and solve. Now, it's a little bit tricky because it's a bit irritating because you have to now go and solve this whole thing. So what you can do is I would bring this over, so this becomes 20, then you would times um, that 20 by that 425, so it's 4205. I'm just doing a lot of algebra here, okay? So please try follow with me, okay? It's not a particularly pleasant exercise, but it is what it is, okay? So 20 times by 4205, you put that in, that becomes 84100 x minus 725 all squared. I'm going to root both sides. Please remember when you root, you're going to get a plus minus. So I'm going to root, put that in, and it gives me 290. But it's not just 290, right? It has to be 290 plus minus, and then we get x minus 725. Okay? So then what we would have is we would then go and add that on. So we have negative 290 plus 725, right? That's my 1x. Or we have 290 plus 725, okay? Equals x. Please remember, whenever you have a squared, you're always going to have two solutions. So don't forget about this plus minus. So negative 290 plus 725, we're going to know that x can equal 435. Or x is going to be 290 plus 72, oh goodness, me, 725, and x can equal 1015. Okay, now it's important, right, apologies for the noise, right, it's important to now interpret, okay, so you need to then go into your graph and say, okay, how is this going to work? Because we know that there will also be a point over here which will also be 210, okay, there's two points, but we want this point in particular. So this point over here is going to be my 4, 3, 5. And this point over here is going to be my 1, 0, 1, 5. But it wanted the coordinates of the hygrometer. So the coordinates of the hygrometer are going to be the 4, 3, 5, right? So the hygrometer's coordinates, right, are going to be this. So there's an element of interpretation that you have to do there. That's why it's so many marks, right? Because it just asked for the horizontal distance, you can also just say four, three, three five meters. Please don't forget your, um, your uh, measurements there. So that would be your answer there. Quite a lot of work, quite a lot of algebra, not impossible, but you really needed to understand your parabola theory. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Let's move on to question 10. We're making good progress.